Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all are fit and fine. Welcome to our value education class. Today if we are going to study lesson 3 living together. The moral of the lesson is each person is important in a family and community. Let us discuss the question first. You have an elder brother and a younger sister. One day they have a fight. They ask you to choose one of them as the one you love more. What do you do? Tell them they are both important to you. Choose one over the other. Which option is correct? Yes, the first option is correct. So, take that. Tell them they both are important to you. Now, children, why living together is very important? It is because that you are never left alone. There is always a support for you both in good and bad times. You get to learn good culture and tradition. You get to learn about life more diversely as you'll have people of all age groups. In your family, you will be a confident person as your family will always back you up. You will be well protected in present and future. So, you must live together everywhere in a family and in a community. Now children, here I am going to share one story with you of four sons and a bundle of sticks. Once upon a time, an old man lived with his four sons in a village. The four sons were hard workers. Still they quarreled all the time. The old man tried a lot to unite them, but he failed. Months passed by and the old man fell sick. He told his sons to stay united, but they didn't listen to him. So he decided to teach them a practical lesson so that they would forget their differences and stay united. The old man called his sons, Dear sons, I will give you bundle of sticks to each of you. You will have to break the sticks as a bundle, not as separate sticks. The sons agreed and tried to break the bundles of sticks. Though they tried their best, they could not break the bundle. They failed to complete the task. The sons replied to the old man that they are not able to break the sticks. Then. The old man untied the bundle of the sticks and gave each son one stick and asked them to break it into pieces. Then they broke the sticks into pieces in minutes. The old man replied, Dear sons, see, you could easily break the single sticks into pieces but you were not able to break the bundle so if you stay united nobody can do any harm to you if you quarrel every time with your brothers anyone can easily defeat you i request you to stay united the four sons understood the power of unity and promised their father that whatever be the situation, they would all stay together. 
we have learned from this story that unity is strength children each person is important in family and community we should support everyone in our family we all know that each and every member in family is dependent on each other how they are dependent children see you are dependent on your parents for because they take care of you they give you new clothes they feed you every day they take your studies and they do everything that makes you feel happy you live with them okay children your mother works hard and cooks food for her family she does all her household work father goes out for the work even nowadays mothers are also working so in this way the whole family is dependent on each other now everyone shares gives and adjust with others and we are all in one way or the other dependent on each other see for example children plant then a plant for its growth it requires water and soil and sunlight does the plant will grow without the sunlight or light or water no so in this way even plant life is dependent on nature like that our day to day work is also dependent on each other you are also now dependent on your school or you are dependent on your teacher because they teach us if we consider a water cycle you all know how rain is formed the sun heat heats up the water in the river and then the water in the river evaporates and as the water goes up in the sky it started to get condensed forming clouds and after some time these condensed clouds start raining and this rain water again falls into the river this is how water cycle is also formed and you can see how it is linked to one another okay children have you understood that each one of us is dependent on each other now let us read the story this delightful story of an animal colony teaches us that we need each other to live now children we are going to study a story of animals in which we will learn that how the title of the story is tata the toad let us read the story children poor tata toad was feeling very sorry for himself nobody in the colony of water vihar wanted to play with him he came and sat outside suddenly he saw his his the snake gliding towards him his said i am hungry and i am going to eat you for dinner frightened tartar ran away from there and hid in a tank in the nearby house 
Only Woof Woof Dog saw him going there. Now we have an animal Tatar who is a toad. Toad means it is a frog. Adult form of a frog. It is called as toad. Now what has happened in the story that this poor uh, toad named Tatar is feeling sorry for himself because nobody in the colony of water we had, this is water we had, wanted to play with him. So he came outside that and sat. But suddenly he saw a snake gliding towards him, coming towards him. Now this snake was feeling hungry. So the snake wanted to eat Tatar for the dinner. Frightened Tatar ran away from there and hid in a tank in the nearby house and who had seen that where has the turtle hid himself yes woof woof the dog saw him saw the toad turtle going into the tank come to the next page children Days passed by. The water we had pond became full of flies and mosquitoes. After all, Tatar was not there to eat them. The mosquitoes started biting the animals. They laid their eggs in the pond. The flies contaminated their food. Diseases started spreading to the people living around the pond. Now, after few days, in this water we had, that pond became full of flies and mosquitoes because Tartar, the toad, was not there to eat these flies. And the mosquitoes then started biting the animals in that water. These mosquitoes also laid their eggs in the pond and the water got contaminated means infected and these flies also infected their food. Now the diseases started spreading to the people also who were living around that pond. Why, why do you think the diseases have started to spread to the people living around? Yes, because the flies have increased. Number of flies in that water we have born has increased. So, many diseases are spreading to the people around. Now let us read the story for the children. One day Woof Woof brought an alarming news. The pond would be dried up by the municipal corporation because it bred too many mosquitoes and flies. All the animals would lose their homes. Now Woof woof. Who is woof woof children? Yes, that dog is that woof woof. And he brings one news that the pond would be dried up by the municipal corporation because number of mosquitoes were growing in that pond. And if the pond is dried, 
then the animals living in the water like fish turtles toads frogs tortoise crabs will lose their homes also and they will also die one day if the water in the pond is dried now let's see what happens next in the story so let us read for the children let's find tartar and get him back there were no flies and mosquitoes when he was here he used to eat them all up said quack quack duck yes yes let's get him back said all the other animals woof woof took them to the tank where tartar was hiding the animals spoke to him lovingly and asked him to come back tartar agreed happily a few days later the officers of the corporation came to empty the pond come to the next page children they were surprised at what they saw not a single fly not a single mosquito now there was no need to close the pond all the animals realized the importance of tartar they apologized for their behavior and became his friend now what had happened children that the duck in that pond says that let us find the toad turtle and get him back and the duck quack quack says that there were no flies and mosquitoes when he was here he used to eat all the flies and so other animals also said that let us bring the tartar the toad back into the pond only woof woof the dog knew that where was the toad tartar so he went to the tank where tartar was hiding the animals also spoke lovingly to him and asked him to come back in the pond tartar also agreed to them happily after few days children the officers from the corporation came to empty the pond now when they have come there they did not see a single fly not a single mosquito now there was no need to clean the pond or to dry it up or close that pond so all the animals now realized the importance of turtle they also apologized means said sorry for their behavior and became turtle's friend now here we have seen children how even a frog in the pond is important because it eats up all the mosquitoes and flies and so that number of flies also does not grow and it it does not spread any diseases okay children have you understood that how we are dependent on each other here we have learned that every person is important in our family also and in our community also thank you